Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's going to be video game related, so if you don't care, then click off now. But if you're interested, keep watching. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys something that I wasted $300 on. Um, yes, I did want it. And I use it. I have, this is probably going to be my fourth or fifth time using it since I bought it last weekend the call out weekend is when i got it the youtube call out weekend is when i got this um so i spent three hundred dollars on this and it was awesome opening the box and then i hooked it up and then i was immediately let down but if you haven't watched any of my recent videos or you're just new to the channel i just moved into this apartment with my girlfriend and I specifically wanted two bedrooms so I could have a room dedicated to video games because I'm a kid I'm a little child at heart I will always be a little child at heart and this is what I needed to be happy was a game room um, so let's get into what I wasted $300 on and wish I could get all my money back for it a Logitech Logitech G920 steering wheel. Uh, I got the six pattern eight shifter, the steering wheel and pedals obviously for the Xbox One. So I could play Forza Horizon 4 and drift on it, which mainly I got this wheel because I wanted to drift to make drifting more fun. But drifting is actually unbelievably hard. But the room's a little messy. And I actually just brought this in here to use as a GoPro stand so we could get some clips going. I did have Maddie record some shots of me last night, but then after I had her do that, I realized I could have just used this and it would have been fine. But she played it last night, so I'm going to include those clips into this video. But I'm going to set the GoPro up and we're going to see... Or I'm going to set the GoPro up on my stand, GoPro stand, and get some drift clips going. Um, if, you don't, if you didn't watch the YouTube call-out video, I mentioned that I had a surprise coming in the mail. And I just wanted to, this is the surprise. I, should, I wanted to make this video a week ago about how excited I was for it, but I was immediately let down after playing it. Um... So this isn't going to really be like a review or anything. It's just going to be an enjoyment thing. Something for you guys to watch. And something new and kind of different for the channel, I guess. So I'm going to put some socks on. going to turn the Wi-Fi on and on my GoPro and get a good view of the steering wheel and TV at the same time. That's a dirt road. How do I back up? Just uh, hold down the brake. Making me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. He drove straight off the road. It's hard to palm the wheel in this game. Am I supposed to drive it like a normal car? You can. <clears throat> but you're not in America, so the cars are on the left side of the road. I didn't say that much. <laughs> when the car starts drifting, you have to counter steer. <laughs> Sharp turn. 
<laughs> Are you done? All right. So I am by far not the best drifter, video game drifter or anything. It is especially hard to drift with the steering wheel setup when the B button is my e-brake because I like to use my e-brake a lot. And as I'm whipping the wheel around, it's kind of hard to find the button without looking at it and pressing that accurately. And I can't even change the setup to where I can use at least use the paddles for an e-brake. So when I do drift, it's kind of just rolling into it. But I'm using a Mustang because the drift cars in this game with the drift angle are actually harder for me <laughs> to use than a normal car and the Mustang has plenty of power to use. I like to use the cockpit view uh, right up on the gauges because the steering wheel doesn't turn like that's a full turn in game but I actually turn I use the 900 degree turn so it kind of messes with me so I prefer to use this angle a lot better or I prefer this angle a lot more because I feel like I do better with it but I don't really do that good period but let's see if we can get something going around this roundabout Not really, because the car doesn't have a lot of power. So, if you're wondering why I think this was a waste of my money at least, is because I used to have a Fanatec wheel back on the 360, which was a Porsche wheel so it was like an Alcatara rim and the gear shifter uh, you could feel I don't know how to exactly explain it like I like the way this one looks with this like fake leather boot whatever uh, but just the Fanatec wheel was a lot better than this one in general the wheel was actually I'm pretty sure the wheel was bigger too but everything about that wheel felt better this is a gear driven wheel and I don't know what the other wheels you can buy, like the inside, but the gear one, I don't know if you guys can hear this, I'll shut up. But when I turn to the left, it makes a weird, like, kind of electric-y noise. And then turning to the right is like, so left feels kind of smoother, but it makes an annoying noise. And to the right feels tighter. So I don't know if that's just in-game settings. I'm pretty sure it's just, it's definitely just the wheel. But it seems like the only corners I can drift in this game are these hairpin, like switchback things. Ugh, I got some practicing to do. So I'm going to skip forward for you guys and get some practice going on because it's the first time I've touched it uh, all night. And I got to get some house chores going, so I'm going to kind of rush this. But I'm going to get some practice in and get some good clips going for you guys. So I'll be right back. definitely be easier to play with an actual handbrake instead of trying to find the button.
Oh, I was trying to find the handbrake again. I can't find it with my left thumb. Again, I don't know why I do that. All right, I swapped into my V8 350Z. Uh, I don't know how much power it makes. It's got steering drift angle on it. Okay, so this car makes like 650. turn the left. fourth gear I needed second all right before we continue further into drifting I wanted to show you guys this real quick I don't know if this is real or not but I don't know if you can read it it says a four-door Mustang is coming Ford allegedly reveals to dealers so basically it kind of looks it looks exactly like a mustang but stretched like a kia stinger with four doors so it looks like a, it's long like a kia stinger has the mustang body but it's a four door now guys by all means i'm not turning this into a game channel um quite frankly i don't want to record myself like this and the tv like this like i don't want to make gameplay off of this camera so i'm not going to do it I want this to be a vlog channel, a kind of my life channel, mainly involving Jeeps, and then we kind of we can kind of get sidetracked and do stuff like this. But I really do love doing Jeep stuff, and I want to continue doing Jeep stuff, and in the near future do other vehicle things also. But mainly, I want this channel to be Jeeps. I always want this channel to have Jeeps on it, whether I go a couple days without Jeeps and then bring a jeep into it leading up to a jeep whatever but this is just to make a video um to involve, get you guys involved in kind of like my life you know but we're gonna switch back to the mustang here we're gonna give this parking lot a rip and then we'll call that a wrap so let's get a nice normal start
Oh, I guess we're going this way because for some reason I don't turn. Well, I just got a little carried away there at the end. I was having fun throwing the car around. I was actually holding some stuff. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this drifting Logitech Forza gameplay, leave a thumbs up. And again, I am not no pro at this. I just bought this wheel a week ago. So I'm still getting used to driving on the game or drifting on the game with a wheel. But as you can kind of tell with anything, actually, not even just this, but for example, if we're using this, I was very sloppy within the beginning of this video and I cleaned it up there at the end. I was actually holding stuff around that parking lot. So it just goes to show that with practice, things do get better, but... To conclude this video, that is going to be it, guys. I'm going to start doing some house chores. This room I'm not going to worry about, but I do have a mess everywhere else since we did just get back from our weekend vacation. That is going to do it for this video, guys. Again, if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. 
if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because you never know what I am actually going to post. And if you have not already, go check out the pumpkin video of my Jeep pumpkin. Um, I'm not going to show it in this video because I want you guys to go view that video. It's the best Jeep pumpkin in the world. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace out.